Good morning ECC and welcome to Virtual Church as we continue to meet as church in our homes. We're looking forward to uh, worshipping God together this morning. Um, just a few notices. We are looking to connect better as family um, and so we're going to be arranging some family family sorry some family zoom chats um, over this next week we're going to be putting people into zoom groups um, and we're just going to be connecting for half an hour on a tuesday evening a, a catch up and a touch base a pray together uh, just to make sure that we can um, see one another and love on one another and communicate with one another so uh, sometime this week you'll get some information from myself probably via audrey the wonderful Audrey, um, just explaining how that's going to work um, and the groups that we're in. They may well change week on week so that we can uh, make sure that we're connecting with everybody in our family rather than just set people. It's exciting times seeing how God is stretching our faith and stretching our comfort zone week on week to make it much more accessible to be together. Um, if you've been collecting your 40 pence for 40 days through Lent for the Trussell Trust Food Bank, um, the drive that we had um, over, uh, over Lent and up to Easter, um, then you can pay that in via the bank. If you can use the reference 4040 and your name, um, then we can ensure that that finance goes straight to the Trussell Trust to help them to fund and stock the food bank um, in Hinkley. So that's exciting times. Um, but before we do anything this morning, let's prepare ourselves to give. Um, I, I don't just mean give financially, but let's just prepare our hearts to give to God our tithes and our offerings, whether that's through the bank or whether you've got um, a little offering jar at home that you're collecting for when we meet together. Let's prepare our hearts to not only give into that, but to give God everything that we have this morning. Let's prepare our hearts to give all that we have to him, holding nothing back because he's worthy of our praise. Let's pray. Yeah, Father God, we welcome you this morning. Holy Spirit, we welcome you this morning into our homes, into our lives. We open our hearts afresh to you, God, to speak to us uh, today. We're ready to receive whatever it is you want to deposit into our lives. Lord, I thank you for all that we're giving to you. And I thank you, God, that we, whatever we give to you, you return back to us. Lord, you're so faithful to us. You never let us down. Lord, you're always there fighting and working on our behalf and we love you. And we want to worship you today. We want to give you all the honour and the glory and the praise. Amen. So if you just take a moment to, uh, to, to make your offering, however that looks for you. Um, we've tried to streamline our Sunday services to make it easier for you. Um, so you can access the whole service now on YouTube and it will start with an introduction or a welcome. Um, then it will flow into worship um, and then into the word. Um, and then there'll be a follow up at the end. So today uh, we've got an amazing uh, message from Steve Furtick at Elevation Church. Um, be encouraged today as we watch. Be encouraged that God has a plan for such a time as this, not only in moving us closer to him, but in moving uh, the hearts of his children back to the Father. And I'm ex excited to see what he is going to continue to do in our lives, the life of the church and, and in the nations. It may be unprecedented times, but I believe is showing us how to look outside the box that we call church and live. Living in the fullness of God, trusting in the fullness of God, believing in the fullness of his word, that, um, that he is for us, then none can stand against us. And he wants us to live a life full and he speaks life, doesn't he? When he created the heavens and the earth, he spoke life and today he wants to speak life to us 
and Steve Furtick brings an amazing um, resurrection message. Um, but it's Resurrection Sunday every day in our lives, isn't it? And the message this morning is amazing. So I ask you to open your hearts to receive everything that God has from, for you this morning, to receive a download from heaven into your life and, and, and into your heart today through our worship and through his word. And God speaks live. I don't know about you, but I'm ready this morning to re receive something awesome from God. Are you ready to receive something fresh of his resurrection power in your life today? Let's do this, church. Let's awake, let's arise, let's worship the King of Kings this morning because he is worthy of our praise. Amen. <laughs> 